Hi everyone. So the popcorn box is full again, so that means it's time for another empties. So just gonna dig straight in. And the first thing I'm going to pull out is the mascara. So this is the Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara, and I really like this one. I had it a couple of years ago, and then I saw it again recently, and I picked it up. So it's got a plastic bristle brush, which is what I usually prefer. And I just find it's really nice for giving a lot of length and definition to your lashes. So I really like this one, it's very black, and I would pick it up again. I'm getting rid of this MUA brow product um, quad thing um, because I've had it for a long time and it was good, it was good quality for the price but I think it is just a bit old and I don't really tend to use brow powders anymore so I'm just going to get rid of that. Sadly I'm going to have to give up on my MAC Studio Fix powder foundation. I did really like this, I thought it was a very good colour and it didn't break me out. Um, I did find that I would get a little bit oily throughout the day but I suppose you can use a mattifying primer to counteract that. But as you can see I've got stuff left but it has got a film over the pan and then I have like kind of tried to scrape it off and get the rest but the packaging is also broken so I've just kind of given up on this one. I might buy this one again in the future but I've got a couple of powder foundations that I'm using just now that I really like as well. And this one is an NC15. Another powder that again I have to give up on but I really like is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot powder. So again the packaging is broken. I swear I'm not breaking all my packaging. I'm very careful with my makeup so I must just get dud ones quite a lot. So sticking with makeup, I've used up this little sample size of Benefit WhatsApp and I love this. I didn't think I would um, but it's a really nice cream gold highlighter and it just looks so pretty. It really catches the light especially if you layer it with a powder highlighter on top. So I don't know if I would buy the full size because it's very expensive for what it is but I really enjoyed using this. I've got a little bit left in this Vichy BB cream and this one I just don't think was good for my skin type because it was a really nice BB cream but it was a bit dark for being the lightest shade and it was also very dewy and as we all know I have oily skin so dewy foundations and oily skin don't really go well together so I am giving up on this, I've had it for a long time as well so I'm just going to get rid of that now and I wouldn't buy it again. I'm getting rid of this because this is the most orange concealer I've ever used in my life and it's the Maybelline Dream Let Me Touch Lightening Concealer. I don't know how anything will get lightened with this when it's so orange and I did get mine in the shade Ivory, 01, it's not Ivory, it's just the complete opposite of Ivory. So I couldn't even finish this, it just looked really silly, being really dark under my eyes so never buying that again. Now this next thing was actually the first eyebrow pencil I ever bought. Not this specific one, but this brand and the make. I don't even know if they do it anymore. It was by Collection 2000 at the time. And it was just a retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde. And as you can see, nothing left. Used it all up. I did like this at first, especially for being my first eyebrow pencil. I thought it was good. But then, compared to other ones that I've used since then, it's so so soft and really dark so it's quite easy to be a bit heavy handed with this and have a bit of your marks brows going on so yeah I don't even know if they would do it again but I don't think I go for this specific one again if they did still make it. I finished my Bourjois nail polish remover pot. I really like these and I think they're just a really good concept. You can just remove your nail polish really quickly and what I do find though is that the sponge obviously soaks up a lot of the colour of polish that you've had on before so it can transfer into your fingers and just gets a bit messy but this particular one smells really nice. It's red fruits and vanilla fragrance and I would get it again. In fact I need to get it again because I have nothing left. <laughs> I have used up a couple of skincare products and um, the first couple are actually from the set from um, La Roche-Posay, the Effeclar range. As you know I love the Effeclar duos. It's basically my favourite and uh, most effective skincare product and I will always use that. So I picked up the set that had the face wash, the toner and the Effeclar duo in it as well that you could get from Boots and stuff recently. And so I wasn't too impressed with the other stuff though to be honest. I used up their um, purifying foaming gel for oily sensitive skin and I thought oh that's exactly what I need but this was so drying on my skin um, I didn't enjoy using it, it just left my skin feeling really tight and I wouldn't get that again. And then the toner, I was using this in the morning and it says mattifies the skin and tightens pores but I didn't really find that did either 
either either <laughs> either of those things either so i wouldn't buy the toner again and then something else that wasn't in the set but i've used up before is cerozinc also by la roche posay and this is a very hyped and i use it as the hydrating step after i've done my acid toning but honestly i don't really find that it does anything or i don't notice a difference and i'm just kind of like meh it's a bit meh so um i might pick it up again in the future if i need a hydrating toner but i'm gonna try other things first so yeah sarazink i've used another one of my favorite face washes for the morning and that's the body shop and that's the body shop aloe gentle foaming face wash and this is just really nice and gentle as it says and i just really like it for the morning time I've also used up another one of my absolute favourite eye makeup movers by Ole. Say it in every empties, love it, got loads left, so just a great product. I've used up a couple of things for the body. So the first one is this Neutrogena Body Clear Body Spray, and it's supposed to spray in 360 degrees, so you can get on your back. So actually what I used first was the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Scrub. Um, so I just use that on a body brush on my back in the shower and then I would spray this after and I do find that these are good and um, they are quite effective I don't really have a problem back or anything but it's good just to keep it clear um, but I do find that I went through these very quickly and I have to order them off Amazon some more shower things so I've used up this Provoke Touch of Silver purple shampoo and this is just a really good basic purple shampoo it's probably like two or three pounds and I think it's pretty much the only one I use. I use it maybe once a week just to keep my hair looking less brassy for being blonde and yeah I think it's just really good and I'll just need to buy this again. I've used up this the Comforter Body Wash by Lush. I love the Comforter smell, it smells like blackcurrant and as you will see I've got something else in that range. So I did find that this um, was quite thick but I did go through it quite quickly as well and I don't know if they do it if it's like limited edition but I would probably pick it up again because I love the smell. I've used one, two, three deodorants for some reason. I think one was in my gym bag so that was nearly done anyway but yeah. Um, so I've used up one Sure deodorant and two Delph deodorants. I definitely prefer Sure, I think it works better and smells better. The Dove ones I was just a bit like, meh about again, so you know, it's deodorant, what can you say, but I think I prefer the Sure over Dove. However, a Dove product that I absolutely love, and it's probably my favourite dry shampoo, I know, not Batiste, but you know, there is a Batiste in here of course, but yeah, my favourite dry shampoo is the Dove dry shampoo. I just think this is so nice. It basically doesn't leave a white cast in your hair. It smells amazing and it actually leaves a little bit of texture in my hair as well because my hair is fine. So it makes it really easy to style and just, oh, I just love it. Again, it's one of these ones that's never in the shops and I have to find it or maybe even order it online from Superdrug. But I absolutely love this and as long as they keep making it, I will keep using it. But of course there is a Batiste in here too. So again, this is just a tropical scent. It's my favourite one of Batiste. Um, I have used up a Beauty So Clean Conditioning Brush Cleanser. This was obviously for cleaning my brushes and I thought it was really nice. I've tried buying this again but I can't find it. So I'm kind of sad because I really like Beauty So Clean range. So if you know where I can buy it, please let me know. I've used up another Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser and this is my absolute favourite brush cleaning method like when I'm doing a deep clean. It's so expensive though and I go through it so quickly because it is a soap so it's obviously going to dissolve the water as well but this is the only thing that really gets the, the makeup out of my brushes and so yeah I really like this one. I have ordered another one because I do need it although I have found a really really good alternative from Freedom Makeup and it's it's like a big it's called a brush bath and it's five pounds and it's big and it smells amazing but it doesn't get all the stains out like this does so I always need this in my collection. I have used this early harvest raspberry um, of the toilette from the body shop. This smelled really nice. <sighs> the raspberry smell is so good. I love the body butter as well, the raspberry one. But this was nice. It, it did last me quite a while even though it's a very small bottle because it you know, I didn't use it all the time, but when I did, I really liked it. I 
can't believe I went through this next thing so quickly, but it's a scented candle from Ola Rabonas, and I got this for my birthday in June, so it's in the scent Indian Pomelo, and I just love it. It smells really fruity, um, yeah, fruity I think is the, the best way to describe it, but it just smells so nice, and I wish I hadn't gone through it so quickly, and I haven't actually tried this brand before, but I've used the Comforter from Lush, but for your bath that you kind of put in and... I suppose it's like not a bath bomb but similar I don't know what they're called and it's good and it lasts me for a long time because a I don't have a bath in my flat and b I would only use a little bit at a time so it smells amazing black current and do make your bath pink which is always a winner I've used up two more of my Primark cotton pads these are just 50p each so can't go wrong and then you wouldn't normally see face wipes in my empties, but I got these because I went on holiday to Jersey and I only had hand luggage, so I had to pick them up when I was there. And these are the clear still face wipes, and I thought they were quite good actually. And then the last thing I also got for my birthday, and it was the Hydroluron sheet masks. So these are just, um, I think four in a pack, and just a really intense boost of hyaluronic acid on a sheet mask. So I gave one to my sister, so we did that, and it was quite funny, obviously having those in our faces. But yeah, it was a good treat. I probably wouldn't buy them myself because they're very expensive, but it was nice to get as a gift. So that's everything. Another empty is done and dusted. I seem to, I don't know if I do go through products quite quickly. Some I do, some I don't, you know, it just seems to accumulate very fast. So, so yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. I love seeing what people have used and get their opinions because I've used the whole product. But I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.